Hi, I'm Alex Paul, and I'm here at the Things Conference in Amsterdam with Anise Giamo. He's with ST Microelectronics, and just want to say welcome to the show. I hope I didn't slaughter your name too badly. No, it's okay. It's okay. You are almost good. Almost good. Is Anise Giamo? That's okay. I Thanks, Anise. You did pretty well. <laughs> That's okay. Thanks, Anise. Well, you know, just like with anything, you got to make sure that you inter interact and interface correctly. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You are right. Let's <laughs> extend it to the Internet of Things. See, let's do a segue into that aspect. Yeah, yeah. Well, because we're always trying to find these new devices and these new solutions, and and a lot of people look at hardware and software as different things, or software as the thing that's driving things nowadays. But you still need the hardware to run the software on, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. You need the hardware to run it. Uh, otherwise, you cannot run the software. The software has to run in a platform. So we need someone to develop it. And this is our job, actually, ST. This is the job of ST. But we don't do only the hardware. We are also providing the software that can run on this product, actually. So it's a full service solution when you do it. It's kind of, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Not only the hardware, also the ecosystem around the tools to use the product. The, and yeah, we can discuss more in detail about this ecosystem that we are provider as well on top. Now let's start with the product itself. I understand you guys just came out with, uh, guys and gals, just came out with a new system on chip. Well, it's not exactly new. It's a, we, we launched this system on chip actually three years ago. And so since then, we are developing a, a whole ecosystem around it. But maybe it's good we start with, to describe the system on chip, the STM32WL, this product in order for, for you to understand what is this product exactly. And from that, after also, we can discuss about the ecosystem around it. Well, you got to know the product before you can understand the ecosystem. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So then let's start with the product. It's been around for a couple of years, you said. What is the family? What does it do? What are its specialty application spaces? So, well, this is actually a system on chip for sub gigahertz. It's the integration of a microcontroller plus a radio, multi-modulation radio supporting LoRa modulation. And so it can be deployed really in many IoT applications like uh, smart agriculture, smart industries, smart cities. Really, it's, we want to cover most of the market possible because our approach here is to simplify the, the life of our customers by having a flexible platform with, that can be deployed worldwide. So that can be tuned for each frequency regulation of depending on the country you want to, to implement it. Um, it also can support multi-protocol, as I said, multi-modulation. So the point of this product is really to make something flexible that can be deployed worldwide. Got it. Okay, so then uh, let's go to the next step. What are the aspects of the infrastructure that you wanted to highlight that are enabling the device to do what it's trying to do? The, the infrastructure improvements or the expansions that you wanted to highlight? So main point actually for the application, to improve the application of our customers, the product brings several advantages, several added value. One is the low power capability, because customers are looking to extend the battery lives of their application to make them more sustainable. So this device is integrating low power capabilities on the RF side by optimizing the RF current consumption. Also on the MCU, the MCU is a low power architecture, so it allows to have the low power mode, the, all the modes that allows to save the, the energy and run from a battery for several years like we, like it is required for metering markets. You have a meter that needs to run for 10 years, so it has to get the right power consumption to do that. Uh, second point is about the integration, because here we talk about a system on chip, means a single product that integrates the microcontroller plus the radio. So small form, f form factor, integration level, higher integration level thanks to that. And then the, the LoRa modulation integrated, so long range, the capability to reduce the number of gateways in the infrastructure, making the cost less less cost actually. Yeah. So, um, are there any specific applications that is well suited for, or is it a one size fits all kind of a solution? It's, we can say that it is a wide application spectrum, right? Yes, yeah, really wide in terms of application. Got it. Okay, then. So let's go to the other aspect of it. Once I decide to implement your solution into mine, how much help are you going to give me? What kind of design support can you give me to make sure that I optimize my solution? Well, so this is exactly what we are doing since we launched this product, is to make a complete ecosystem to simplify the life of our customers. And that includes, so the, in, on the hardware side, in order to simplify the wireless design of the customers, we are providing reference designs. So then the customer can reuse these designs. It includes the schematics, the layout, uh, the, bill of, the list of the components that has to be used. They can reuse it. 
and then they can start their application this way uh, really, really fast, actually. It's, it saves a lot of time, actually. So that's about the, the hardware. And on the, hard, on the software side, we are also providing the libraries, the software in order to run the stack, the LoRaWAN stack. So customer can use this. It is available on our, on our website. That's, uh, yeah, I say this is quite complete, complete from hardware, software, and the tools as well. Tools are important in order to start a, de a development. It's, it's uh, on the tools, we have a tools to, uh, like ID for the developers to start their, their, their code, to develop their code. Um, tools also to debug the, debug the application, to monitor the application. Yeah, so quite complete. Very nice. Now, when we think about all of these things, obviously there are a lot of moving parts when you're talking about an IoT deployment. Beyond power, what are some of the other bottlenecks, challenges in developing a, a, a truly mobile IoT solution today? Well, so behind power, there is the, the RF, the RF performance. So it needs to, it needs to have long range, long range capability, right? To have the right sensitivity level, to have the right power output. And for instance, uh, on our transmit, transmitter, the internal transmitter has two power amplifier. And this, the fact to have two power amplifiers helps to really focus on, to be able actually to optimize the power in, uh, in, for low band for like European markets, because the European market is limited at uh, 14 dBm. And we can use our internal power amplifier that is a low power amplifier in order to, to target European markets. But as we have two power amplifiers, we also can use the second one that can be also uh, suitable for American market to go up to plus 22 dBm thanks to this one. So it gives the flexibility to be deployed worldwide in this way. Without any significant hassles to the design engineer. Correct, correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well then, because that's all about it right now. So things like antenna matching or packaging, those aren't really that big an issue anymore, are they? But thanks to ST, this is not a big issue right now because <laughs> As I said, we are providing the reference designs that help to go straight ahead in the design. Uh, yeah, so we, we are really simplifying the life of our customers this way. By the way, also, we have partners that are developing modules based on the STM32WL. So if the customer wants to start a design uh, without any uh, hard RF designs, then they can use the module from our partners and they can increase their time to market. Can you give me an example of one of these modules? You don't have to name a company name or anything, but like an example of one of these modules that would be used to address an application. So, well, um, because it's modules, so it, the small form, it's a small form factor. So it's really suited for IoT, for uh, things that you could find uh, in a tracking, in a tracking system where you can put it in a really small form factor uh, end device uh, with, of course, the battery. And so, yeah, modules could be, could be used for that. But not only actually, because it's, uh, you can find modules as well uh, adapted for the low power, adapted for the, to have good RF performance in the agriculture, smart agriculture. No, but I think the point of, of modules is really to simplify the design, to make sure that the, the customer doesn't need to start from scratch. They can just use the module and then go with their knowledge, their, their, their added value, their end application. Very cool. Do you have any last thoughts for our audience before I let you go? Well, um, really good to, to talk to you. Uh, I want you just to highlight that here at the Things Conference, we have a demonstration, great demonstration here. We have a, a, an asset tracking demonstration based on the stm 32 wl uh, that is Astra One, that we call Astra One. So you can come to the website to check the, the material for this demo. And also an AI demonstration doing predictive maintenance. So it can al uh, allow to use the STM32WL for industrial application, you know, to, uh, to detect defaults even before you can, you, you can notice it. Very cool. Anna, say thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today, especially at a busy event like this. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's a good event, actually. It's a really good event. It's really good to see many people and uh, having so much activity around uh, LoRaWAN, around uh, the RF and the IoT as well. Things are happening. It's so great. Yeah, yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, stay in touch because we're going to be talking to uh, Winnie at Milesite about their uh, solutions and uh, check it out.